It's that time of the election cycle again where every major party must pay deference to the NHS like it's some devouring pagan god that will destroy you if you fail to pay heed to it. Now, I get why the NHS holds a special place in the nation's heart. It was formed after the Second World War, a very difficult time in our history, and signalled the new future of mutual support. In essence, the lefties like it as they see it as a fine achievement of socialism, and those on the right like it as it reminds them of the war spirit and the nation. Yet am I wrong in saying that what we conceived the NHS as, it no longer is? What I mean by this is what started as an institution to serve the British people in their hour of need has ultimately become something that can be used by absolutely anybody from anywhere in the world, no matter the cost burden. Now, despite the media informing me I'm evil and foolish for noticing this, during my time living in London, I often noticed that the NHS waiting rooms were stacked with people who barely speak English, if at all. And let's be honest, you can't blame people for coming from the third world here and taking a advantage of a healthcare system if it's there to be taken advantage of. It's only our naivety which makes us believe that anybody who comes here is going to have exactly the same deference towards the NHS that a British person whose family have been here for hundreds of years. Yet despite all this, we have to go through the same thing every election cycle. Each major party will try and outdo the other in how much money they're going to commit to the NHS and how much they love the NHS more than everyone else. And, if the issue of immigration comes up, of course we'll be told that it's immigrants who prop up the NHS. Now, while it's true many immigrants do work in the NHS, many immigrants also use the NHS as well as get old. It's also one of these odd Blairite mantras that the British people couldn't survive without mass immigration. Somehow we managed before the 1990s, but there you go. Yet this shows us what's really going on here. This isn't so much about worshipping the NHS, it's about worshipping progressive ideas. Ideology. Progressive ideology, wokeism, whatever we want to call it, is essentially a new pseudo-religion, and as Carl Benjamin points out here, the most remarkable part of the recent BBC debate was the bold Scottish wokeist screaming, he doesn't believe in the NHS because Nigel Farage had pointed out the tangible, practical problems with the NHS. As Carl points out, it's a health service, not a religion. It shouldn't require belief. Exactly. Henceforth, asking the modern liberal establishment to alter elements of the NHS is like asking the Catholic Church to alter mass. This is why a lot of blue tick types create all these shock horror headlines like, let me spell it out, if you vote for reform, you're voting to end the NHS. This was the line taken by the leader of Plaid Cymru. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name in order to not offend our Welsh friends. However, his point was that he's going to stand up to Nigel Farage. And how is he going to do that? by importing more immigrants. Now, as someone who spent tens of thousands into the NHS over the years via tax, if not more, I'm sure it's the same with you, and whose family has done so over the years as well, you feel, what am I getting in return for all of this money I'm spending? That we can't even ask that question, lest be seen some evil monster who wants to destroy healthcare in the UK, shows us that we're being politically controlled here. I'm not trying to say I have all the answers on the NHS, but I am trying to say it's time for an open conversation about what actually serves the British people rather than the liberal elite. These are just my thoughts however, do let me know yours down below and do consider subscribing to the channel.